Hi there, Alistair Creelman. Uh, I thought I'd do a little film about uh, Adobe Connect because uh, I think a lot of people are having a bit of trouble getting it started and uh, it, it is a little bit of a, yeah, it, it needs a little bit of attention before you can get it working properly. So here are some tips and I hope it makes things a little bit easier for you. First of all, before you get going, uh, you, you need a headset. It's uh, rather, it's, it's better sound quality. I must admit this particular headset uh, is my emergency one and it's not so good because it's got one of these hang, hanging microphones. It's better to have one with a microphone that's in front of your mouth. It's important that you test the headset before you even go into Adobe Connect. Make sure it actually works and that the computer is using this microphone and not the internal microphone. Uh, you'll also probably need a webcam. And you can have an external one, or it can be built into your computer, as I have at the moment. But let's take a look at the what you need before you start. Headset. It's very good if it's got a USB connection, because the sound quality is much better on that. Um, please test it first, before you go into Adobe Connect. Uh, just see if it works in some other kind of function. See that you can... Um, yeah, see that it's uh, picking up the sound and that the microphone is working. Same with the webcam. Test it first. Make sure you can go into your um, control panel and uh, just see that the webcam is actually working. If you're going to be visible, if you're going to use your video and your audio, then a wired internet connection is always best, uh, or nearly always. Wi-Fi, wireless connections, they can be okay, but very often you're sharing the connection with a lot of other people, and if there's a lot of traffic, your bandwidth will go down and sometimes go up, and it can lead to delay and echo and other nasty things. Of course, if you're just going to listen to a session, if it's a webinar and you're, you're just participating using the chat, then, then you can use wireless connections and mobile connections. But uh, if you're going to get the full use of it, then it's best to be wired on a computer. Test your computer. That needs a little bit of help here. So that uh, what you can do, there are two, setting, two places you can go. The first is check your settings. If you stop this film, you can copy down this link. I'm afraid it's not clickable in this uh, program, but uh, I've shortened the link. It's a very long link normally, but uh, just copy that and go there. And when you go there, you will go to, uh, you will arrive, wait a minute, not there. You'll arrive at a page like this. I'll actually reload it just so you can see what happens. When you go to this page, it will test your uh, connection to see that you've got the right player for using Adobe Connect. It'll test your connection with the internet. It shows that you're connected. It's connecting. It's testing the speed of my connection to see if I've got uh, enough bandwidth. It's uh, <laughs> taking a little bit of time. While we're waiting for that to happen, um, it tells you whether you've got the right sort of connection to use Adobe Connect, and if not, what to do about it. It'll also see if you've got the Adobe Connect add-in. The add-in is a little program that is normally automatically downloaded when you enter Adobe Connect. It's always important to say yes when it says, do you wish to install the Adobe Connect add-in? Please say yes. It's very important to use. You can get details. Down here there are lots of tips. Here broadcasting camera and voice can be very useful for you. Um, down here are some tips that you can use. The other guide you can use, if I go back to my slide, is a quick start guide. And it's at this address. I've shortened it again to make it easier for you to write down. But when you click on that address, you will see this. It's a PDF, and you can download it. And it's got very nice little quick tips on how to get started, about the connection test, joining a meeting, and so on. So really, that's, uh, that's, that. look through these. I know it's always a, 
a bother to look through instruction manuals, but uh, believe me, it will make things much, much easier when you, uh, when you get started. So that's really the check your settings and make sure you've got these things. When you go into your Adobe Connect room, if I just uh, change my view a little bit, I'll enter. That was rather quick, actually, because I was already logged in. When you get into your Adobe Connect room, it'll look something like this. Um, what I can do first is I can start my I can start my webcam by pressing here. And there we are. I'm I'm visible now. Sometimes uh, it won't go immediately on. It'll there'll be a little sign here saying sh start sharing. Please click on that because until you click on that nobody can see you. Up here we have a microphone. And if you press that it'll activate your microphone. Okay? What you can do here is go in and adjust your volume and also select microphone, which one you're actually using. Please do not use the, the web camera as microphone because that results in echo and all sorts of horrible things. So select the correct microphone. So that's something you can do. I will mute there. Uh, you, can also select, you can also select which camera you use. So I can, I can change there and you see me from a different angle. Uh, I'll go back to the original one. And you can also go to preferences. Or you can stop your webcam. If you haven't got much bandwidth, it's quite a good idea. You can actually smile and press this pause button and it'll just be a frozen image of you like this. And suddenly I'm frozen. And uh, I can do all sorts of things, and people still think I'm listening. You see, it's very clever. So anyway, you can freeze your video. You can also, if you're having trouble with sound, I would advise that you go to Meeting, go to Audio Setup Wizard. Then you will get, uh, you will have to go through a procedure here where you test. You can see if you can hear the sound, the input, when you've done that. It'll ask you to select the correct microphone. It'll then ask you to start recording, say something, and then you can play the recording. And if you can hear your own voice, then your microphone is working. If not, you're going to have to go back and make sure you've selected the, mic the right microphone. So this is the really crucial one. Can you be heard? When you've done that, it'll test the silence and then you're all ready to go. Finish. So when you've done the audio setup wizard you, and you can hear your own voice on the recording, you're ready to go. This button here is for muting your microphone or unmuting. Now I'm sending my, now I'm transmitting my speech, now I'm silent. It's a good idea in meetings in Adobe Connect uh, to close your microphone when you're not speaking because otherwise it can, uh, it can, you can cause echo amongst other things. It's also not very good if you have uh, external loudspeakers. So many people don't want to have their um, many people don't want to have their headset on and they have loudspeakers on the desk and then they have an external microphone. And what happens is the microphone picks up the sound from the loudspeakers and that causes uh, feedback. And uh, things start howling and wailing and everybody find it's, it's, it's a dreadful noise. So not a good idea to have loudspeakers and a microphone unless you've got a, a more expensive microphone that uh, takes away the echo. Those are some tips on using Adobe Connect. I hope that has helped you and given you an idea of how to get started. So let's see what happens when we see you in the next Adobe Connect meeting.